Northwest Premier Bushi Maape is expected to deliver the State of the Province address later today. This as residents of Manukwane village near Taung in the northwest are still battling water shortages. Former Premier of the Northwest, Professor Job Mukhoro, during the State of the Province address last year. In the address, Premier Mukhoro said Taung and Naledi Balg water supply project aimed at coordinating water provision was almost completed, a solution to water challenges the area is facing. Despite the promises made by the provincial government to supply bulk water in the Taung area, residents of Manokwani village are still struggling. A reservoir was built in the village years ago, but supply is sporadic. Many of the residents here depend on subsistence farming, while others rely on social grants to survive. A community leader says they have been experiencing water shortages since the outbreak of COVID-19. When there is no water, we are forced to drink water that we see passing in this farm. And this water is not good for human beings to consume. And as you can see, animals are passing. They are going to drink the same water that we are drinking. Our government has neglected us, hence we are drinking water with animals. Hopeful residents queue at the only communal tap every morning. But more often than not, they go home with empty buckets. We need water. Water is life. We do everything with water. Suffering, suffering water. Water. We need water, man. Mumanukwan. Northwest Premier Bushimabe has acknowledged the crisis of water shortage in the area. As you are well aware, just a few kilometers from where we are, there's the Tawin Dam, which is going to be commissioned soon. And the Tawin Dam is. Uh, intended to resolve water problems in Daung uh, and uh, in Naledi. So there is that plan that will be dealing with this district. But uh, the address will cover a number of those service delivery issues. Deborah Pagedi, SABC News, Daung. All right, for more on the uh, state of the province, let's uh, get a report from Tuboho Pakedi. She's in Mahikeng at the moment at the Northwest Legislature. Uh, Tuboho, good morning. Give us an update, and uh, I know that you joined with a guest there as well. Definitely. Good morning, Leanne. And of course, to the viewers, we are at the Northwest Provincial Legislature in Mahigeng, where the Northwest Premier Bushimabe is expected to give his maiden state of the province address at 10 o'clock. As you've seen there on that package, really, the Northwest Province is facing a lot of challenges when it comes to service delivery. You can see there the residents of Taun saying they are drinking water with animals, and really, that that is still not clean water. I really, one questions the issue of human rights violation, as they were saying there. That is the promise that was made last year by the former Premier, Job Mokoro, saying that there will be a Taung water supply bulk, of which at this point, really, it is not delivering water to communities. Now, the Premier, that is Bushimape, is expected maybe to touch more on that and, of course, other issues that the Northwest province is plugged with. You would know that when we talk of tourism and economy, we saw Piermont saying they are moving, they are gambling license to the Rustenberg, yes, it's still in the province, but after seeing Palms Hotel really being gutted by fire last year, September, many questioning if Mahikeng is still standing as the capital city. And of course, we've got several issues that the province, uh, the premier that is Bushimape will be touching, that is the performance of municipalities, the issue of water. We know that we've been having city Bank water um, agency here in the province and the challenge being municipalities not really paying. That was the same with Botelo water that was really the one that was providing water before uh, Citibank water. Quite interesting to see what is going to be done, as the Premier said on that package, that Taun Dam will be commissioned. But to just talk about what will be expected when we talk about the 2022 state of the province address, I have with me Dr. Tepam Molali, that is the governance expert. Thank you so much once again for uh, joining us here. Premier Bushimape giving his maiden state of the province address. What is it that you can expect from him, particularly for the fact that promises that were made on the SOPA last year 
Really, he's just new. And what is it that he might utter today? Uh, what I expect from the Premier Deboho is to talk about um, what his predecessor promised. The first thing being um, the provincial uh, uh, forensic investigative unit that he said he was going to establish in the office of the Premier to investigate allegations of corruption, maladministration uh, uh, in, in, in provincial entities as well as departments, as well as local uh, uh, municipalities. I'm also expecting the Premier to also touch on the district development model to talk about how, as you just put it, when communities are complaining with water and we know district municipalities being water authorities, how would now the provincial government support district municipalities to uh, address the issue of, of, of water supply across the province? Talking, uh, to, uh, talking about revitalizing the provincial economy in the um, how they are supposed to be revitalizing rural uh, economies, support to SMMEs, support to uh, uh, companies that uh, 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 governed or run by women and young people in the province. Yeah, we saw the portfolio of uh, cooperative governance in parliament last year, August, saying that uh, northwest municipalities, 86% of them are under the financial distress. And when you talk of municipalities, you cannot divorce them from services as they are nearer to communities. Just a case study, you go to Lechtenberg, the community saying, now the Clover, Clover uh, Dairy Company has left us. We want government to take over that, that uh, particular uh, company so that our people can be employed. Now, when we talk of municipalities and services, it's been many years. What is it that has to be emphasized for residents to get uh, services? What I would expect, um, especially if, as the Premier would be given direction, is implementation. Uh, this should not be a plain rhetoric. We are from a very hotly contested elections late last year, and there are promises that were made. And what now one should expect is to see this uh, local government turnaround strategy coming into the picture and, you know, talking about deadlines. What I liked with the SONA last week was that the, premiers, uh, the President said, uh, uh, give me 100 days, I'm going to deliver this. By 30 June, I'm going to deliver this. I would like to expect this premier to also, you know, give co commitments. You can say, give me this time until such time you can call me here and hold me accountable. Because, I mean, the state of local government in the province is appalling. Water, we're talking about water, we're talking about service delivery, we're talking about refuse removal and refuse collection, we're talking about the mushrooming of informal settlement. I mean, local government in the province is in serious distress. So he has got to provide direction, set deadlines, so that those deadlines can be used to hold him accountable. Yeah, the issue of job creation, we had President Cyril Ramaphosa saying really that is the responsibility of uh, private sectors. Government is just there to make sure that that is able to be done swiftly. What is it that you expect when you talk of uh, job creation here in the province when we are yet to hear, uh, we, as we are expected to listen to the Premier? You've got EPWP workers still saying we are not paid, yet government would be saying we created jobs through EPWP and so forth. Job creation, private sector, what is it that you expect to hear from the Premier? Insofar as um, even his predecessor was talking about, you know, temporary job opportunities, uh, uh, notably EPWP uh, program, one would expect um, sustainable jobs. Should, is it invest in, uh, investment in tourism? Is it investment in agriculture? Is it investment in aquaculture? But he has got to come and talk about strategies and plans to ensure that, you know, sustainable jobs are created. Because, I mean, if you're going to give... Uh, a, a, a poor people in this province jobs that are temporary. What is going to happen now once those temporary jobs are, are, are over? So he's got to come with these promises, or well, promises and implementation of, you know, job opportunities that are long-lasting, that are sustainable, so that po the poorest of the poor can turn around the quality of their lives. Of course, we are affected by COVID-19, but um, th there should be also the, uh, investment in the private sector as, as well, so that there can be public-private partnership to ensure that job creation in this province is, you know, uh, 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 implemented or is they, they are created. Yeah. Just last question, the government infrastructure, you get to see many of them really being maintained by either the private sector or different agencies. Here in the northwest we had Sidibeng Water, really many in the infrastructure, the water infrastructure of the province. We saw municipalities, Sidibeng say municipalities are not paying us, hence we are collapsing. Now we do hear that Mahali's water board is expected or might be announced as the one to take over city being water. What does that say? Because Nakamudirimulama district municipality was saying we want to mend our infrastructure, but then government really not having uh, potential to do that.
Um, when you talk about uh, uh, the, the potential for government to man its own bulk service delivery supply or, or infrastructure mm. on that score, it's quite a difficult one. Um, I, I, I do think what needs to happen is that um, there has got to be an investment in capacities, upskilling those who are supposed to be, you know, those departments that, that, that are responsible for manning that infrastructure, engineering, engineering departments, public works departments, so that they can be upskilled. The, be, be, uh, until, until that happens, they've got to make sure also that, that um, fine, uh, the municipal infrastructure grant, MIG grant, is in, you know, used to invest in you know, uh, uh, taking uh, charge or taking charge of these projects, making sure that they, the, the, the municipalities themselves, um, the p provincial departments themselves, you know, they mend their own infrastructure. Again, one should caution what the experience in Ketleng Refir, where we said the community even saying they will take over their own water uh, 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 refurbishment project, you know, from from the municipality because they were not receiving services. This is just one that, that that experience should these municipalities not be able to uh, supply on that score. Communities will uh, go up in arms because we already have an existing case study where local communities went to court and took over uh, 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 managing of infrastructure for themselves. Mm -hmm. That was Dr. Tsepam Mulali, governance expert. As he's predicting there what the premier, that is Bushimape here in the northwest province, might be telling us and the communities when he gives gives us his maiden state of the province address. I can just tell you that the Northwest province is one of the three that the NICT has detected, really a flu variant that is uh, called typhoid. Perhaps the Premier will also be touching on that as we know that the country already is really plagued by COVID-19 and the province has really been calling on people to vaccinate. And we, we are yet to hear, Liana, from the Premier what is it that he's going to be telling uh, the province. But more on that service delivery, performance of departments, performance of municipalities. And we know that the provincial office also really being under administration, we would get to know what is it that he would be saying as he gives us his first state of the province address, Lien. Back to you in studio. Tabocho, thanks very much. That is, of course, a big focus for today, and uh, we'll be seeing Tabocho a lot more throughout it. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you.